I am going to uh, mute that. Hello everyone, it's RV Debs. It's Saturday afternoon. I've been watching, well not watching, listening to classic vinyl. And um, I started another Mandela this morning. You can see my, my setup here. That's my new camera holder right there. And that's the ring light above it. It works really good. I went to the garden while I took the dogs out and I took the garbage out and I picked out some okra. Cool, huh? I mean, so nice to just go to the garden and pick out some healthy, yummy, fresh veggies. I think I'm going to make it for my lunch using some cherry tomatoes with it. I hope I show it to you in a little while when I get to doing it. And the house is kind of, you know, a little messy. Still have to do some dishes from this morning. But it's it's nice. You can see I've put, my parents, put some of the man, Mandela. Manda, Mandela? <laughs> I wish somebody would show me how to say it. Mandela. Mandela's. Here and there, there's one I cut out. I thought it looked really pretty. That one's laminated. Okay. There's another one. There's me and my husband. My sweet beloved Mark, who passed away in 2014, which definitely changed my life. And that's what's going on here on a Saturday afternoon. And I'll talk Hello, with you YouTubers, friends, and family. RV Dubs here, and it is Saturday evening. Actually, it's about mm, 20 to 5. And I just put on a complete whole turkey breast in my pressure cooker. And um, I haven't really done one like this, so I hope it comes out good. It's a very large breast, a turkey breast, and. Um, I put okra and onions and carrots and garlic and tarragon and Italian seasonings and a can of cream of celery soup. So hopefully, and some smoked paprika, I guess, yeah, and pepper and salt. Hopefully it'll come out good. It's the timing that I'm not quite sure of, but we'll see. Got all the veggies, well not all the veggies, but I got the uh, okra from the garden and oh yeah, and I put black eyed peas in there too from the garden. Isn't that cool? So I'm cooking and the air conditioner is running at the same time as the pressure cooker. So far, so good. I looked it up and it said pressure cookers six quarters um, usually are nine amps. So I think we're okay. Um, the pressure cooker is right now building up the pressure and then it starts to cook. Let's see what happens. It's exciting. I haven't cooked in a long time, but I had this turkey, this whole turkey breast in the freezer in the garage, and I thought, <laughs> you know what, I think I need to cook that, and I'm going to share it with Kathy's mom, Mary. She'll enjoy it. I just made my dish, made like a soup, <laughs> good, very delicious, and the, and the turkey is, is so tender, and that's the turkey over there, I got a lot. I'm going to cut some pieces up and give it to Mary, and uh, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. So I'll talk with you soon. I'm Hello, sure. it's Sunday afternoon, about 3 o'clock, 3-ish three, in the afternoon, and just letting the dogs out, doing my usual thing, moving around a little bit. Come on, Rose. warm but not bad not too bad for a change thank goodness look at a nice summer day you know it's it's not horrible it's very warm but it's not bad there's a breeze and uh, it's a beautiful day actually I'll take it you gotta take all of it as when you get it if you're lucky enough to get you know some great days we all have crappy days, but, you know, 
you can got to make the best of what we do have. It's not always rainbows, is it? But it sure seems like a beautiful Sunday to me. Good girls. They're so good. Yeah, nice and shady under my house. I'm so grateful. It's because I have the carport. I know, or RV port, actually. That really does it. Come on, Lily. Well, I'm gonna probably play some either card games or board games with Kathy and Mark later. And that'll be my big thing for the day. <laughs> I was just listening to a uh, Eagles concert on video on YouTube. And I've never seen them in concert, so it's you know really good music. I love it. Can't can't beat it. That's what I like to do sometimes is just color my mandalas. And listen to music. Can't believe this this one plant here. The okra plant. It just keeps giving and giving. It's it's unbelievable. The more you the more come shooting up. So cool. Look, here's one that can be used. Wow. Every time I look. <laughs> Come on, Lily. It's a beautiful plant. These are black eyed peas. Yeah, and they're like just. You just pull these off and eat them. Cook them and eat them. The squash is taking over. Wow. More okra over here. But every day, <laughs> Kathy's like, you want some more okra? <laughs> I'm like, okay. These are a little smaller, but I think they're more tender when they're smaller. Okay, time to get back out Somebody of Somebody had an accident right outside. Oh my gosh. I heard something. Kathy, what happened? Oh my gosh. I heard a loud noise too, but I didn't know what it was. Thank God no one's hurt. So they got your mailbox. What's that? Oh my goodness. Heavy duty right here in front of us. Nobody's hurt, thank God. Kathy's and Mark's mailbox went. Huh? Could have been in your house. I was napping. Thank God no one was hurt. Just Kathy and Mark's mailbox. <laughs> and uh, you can see the seats, the uh, airbags in the, the suburban puffed out. The other car is pretty messed up. Truck, I mean. And they're all from out of, out of town. Nobody knows them, at least on our side. No one has any masks on. The police had masks on.
Social distancing. Well, that's something that doesn't usually happen around here. Nope. It's Sunday evening. Sun is slowly sinking down. It's a beautiful time of the day. Very mild temperature. And uh, I try to share with you guys a little bits of my life. Sometimes it doesn't, it's not a lot, you know, but I'm sharing as much as I can anyway. I hope you enjoy the, the vlog and uh, leave some comments and give me a thumbs up as you always are kind enough to do. And until later, peace out. Good afternoon. It's 3 p.m. on Monday, and I am taking off by myself. I'm gonna go to um, Monday, which is just one town over. I think it's 12 miles. And I'm going to go to the Dollar General there because the Dollar General in our town, I have wiped out all of their pens that I like to use. And I'm hoping that the one in Monday has some because I need some. I want some more. And there's only certain colors that you know you really would like more of. Let me fix this one up. Okay. Anyway. There was a big accident right here. I know I'm going to be showing you in this video uh, a little bit of what happened. That was so crazy. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, nobody got hurt. Big time, fortunately. Because it looked like they could have gotten hurt. <coughs> and one of the people that were involved, the one that was at fault, a friend, our friend Jim's nephew was in town and he let this kid this kid you know unfortunately he let uh, his nephew use the truck and uh, he pulled out or I'm not sure what exactly happened but um, it looks like he was he turned t-boned somebody either turning down our street on that street or something like that but anyway um, because Jim came to the door and said that he would take care of the mailbox, that he would buy Kathy and Mark a new mailbox, which, you know, of course, somebody's going to have to do that. <coughs> I would, anyway, no one was hurt, so, but the cars were undrivable. <coughs> yeah. So we, uh, we had some action in front of our house. I was just in my home, you know, in my RV back in the back part of the property. I heard a really loud, loud sound, but I thought, uh, it might be one of the garbage trucks, you know, maybe dropped one of the garbage square th boxes that they have everywhere. And I didn't really give it much thought. But um, I was noticing out my window, because I can't see Kathy's house from my window. I can see the, um, just the park, you know, in this, or that area. But there was a, a, a family parked right there, like on the side of the road where I could see them and they were all pointing. And I'm thinking, what the heck is so interesting at the corner? And I looked out my back window and I saw, you know, ambulance and fire truck, whatever, everything that was there, police. I'm just glad no one got hurt. And it was, you know, they were shaken up. But they, they didn't have to go to the hospital. Anyway, that was that. That was exciting. That was the Sunday excitement. It's a beautiful day. It's 98 degrees right now, at least in the, in, in the car truck here. It didn't feel that hot. Maybe it's because it's just the truck was in the in the sun. Although it really wasn't. 
But it's cool in the my AC in my truck's working great. Thank you, God, you know? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, here we go. Look how pretty the sky is. Oh, can't get it right, but there. I guess that's good. Yep. And I'm going to start putting on some speed because it's 75 miles an hour here. And um, I wasn't really... Now I'm doing 70. I'm <laughs> oh, going kind of slow, wasn't I? And 75 would have set it. And that's it. <laughs> that's why 12, 12 miles... I wouldn't want to walk it or anything, but it's pretty quick by car. But it's very picturesque. All, all different seasons in the in the farmlands or whatever you might call this area. I guess it's farmlands. Um, either they're they're putting their all their hay in barrels, you know, rolls, and it's just really pretty. Or you see gorgeous, you know, gorgeous uh, fields of cotton and uh, wheat and all kinds of different different things. Plus, you've got your, you know, goats and, and cows. So, every, and, and the seasons change. Like, right now, it's summer, and it's all kind of a wheat color. But it's many shades, you know, many, many shades of it. And greens, and, and the sun shining. In the uh, spring, you've got wildflowers everywhere. <coughs> and then in the <coughs> autumn, trees are changing. And it looks different, you know. And then winter really changes it. So that part of living out here has been really neat because I really never lived uh, in a four-season kind of place. So it, it's good. To my right, there's lots of windmills. Windmill, windmills. I mean, actually, turbines. I don't think you can see them. going and I'm coming back so I'll talk to you later on when I get right there possibly share that okay getting out of there yes indeed well I didn't get everything that I wanted I didn't uh, they don't have the certain big intensity pens that I was looking for. I did try another kind. Let's see. I got these. These are good. I'm talking to myself. I got two of these. Which I love. Those are really good. But they didn't have the other ones that I normally get. I guess I cleaned them out too. I'm gonna try these. They're rubber grip gel pens, medium point. Not sure if it will be the right ones. But, we'll see, I'll try it. I got the cutest little box. I don't normally buy stuff like this, but for some reason, maybe I think I could probably put all my extra pens in this that's what my first thought. It's a little box. The box says, let your dreams bloom. And it's just the coolest little box. So I bought that. <laughs> okay. Time to head home.